look, if you land in Lagos and the carousel belt doesn't work properly, let's say, as they say, let's say they took lights, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing is not working properly. And maybe the experience is so damaging that you're just relieved to leave the airport. Once you leave the airport, nobody thinks about, oh, what lessons did we learn so that this doesn't happen again? So, no yeah, so, so, so it's not surprising to me that instead of someone to sort of go, okay, what do we think makes the most sense for the best outcome, even if it's not the perfect outcome, mm. right? But it's, it's going to move me forward a bit. Let me coalesce around that and try and make it work out mm. and, and, and take some hit, you know, to just... I don't see any of that. We have an, a, a culture that will just go for A2 is not good enough. Just go A1 all the way, you know? Mm. Instead of you to actually say, maybe it's okay to... Um, to let's say progress could be defined by um, we will we will make sure that the roads in this country are decent enough because if mm. those are fine you'll be able to move around and the business side of things will pick up from a logistics point of view mm. is that good enough to get you anywhere in the west? No for Nigeria, maybe so maybe mm. you should try that first maybe you should try water first, maybe you should try water and roads first mm. but no, we will the, the overeducated part of the country will say, what kind of nonsense is it talking? They Let's just speak in English. When he produces the manifesto, they will say, well, come on, man. You know what? You need money and experience. After he proves that he has experience or she proves that they have experience, there's more. He that it must be corrupt. Even though there's no enough, not enough evidence to, to back up your claim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's but sometimes just you can see that the people that some people will vote for are clearly corrupt sometimes, right? You can see it clearly. So why some, are you having sometimes and being corrupt? <laughs> so why, why are we having the debate? Why, 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 isn't this very obvious to you? And then the, the other point, the, no, the one thing I've, I've right. landed on is that Nigerians have a deadly um, affinity and love for being on top and winning. Yes. So even if the winner... It's called, it's called a better pass, my neighbor. Yes, even if the winner is detrimental to me, mm -hmm. because I'm associated with the winner, that's okay. Yes, yeah. They they, but, they 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 see it as a form of equity. It may not be immediate. Correct. Right. Yeah. It's just uh, uh just you know like like just that face like. Yeah, we 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 we're part of the winning group. <laughs> it, it's, it's like it's like how Arsenal is like nobody yeah. wants to be part you know, of Arsenal. I have I have uncles that were hoping. That they will have, or have their own office too in the political office that they supported, supported Anyone. the yeah. anybody. But <laughs> there's a whole lifetime now they haven't been able to accomplish anything. And a lot of people that follow politics are like that. Some of them were hoping that Omar come in one day, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, but, something I didn't put in this book. Mm -hmm. There was a conversation that happened in SS1. I'm surprised I forgot to put this in the book. Hmm. Because it's very vivid to me, actually. This conversation happened in my SS1 year, so my fourth year of secondary school. I was sitting on my bed in room seven at Kenley House. And a shout out to Kazim. Kazim wouldn't remember the story. Kazim was in the room. Mm -hmm. And the conversation was about, can a president of a country be okay driving a Volkswagen Beetle? And the view from some people was that, that is just wrong. Yeah. And some of us were like, you've got to accept that some of this is okay. But no, people are like, no, it's not worth it. It's, it's bigger than that. <laughs> yeah. So, but that was happening when we were 14 years old <laughs> in wow. 94. So mm. why would they change today? Yeah. Because again, it, it, the, way, the Nigerian society is a product of its people. It is what it is. It's a product of the type of education, both formal, informal, the society, the unseen, the unwritten rules, right? The unwritten rules. The unwritten yeah. rules is is they are bigger. Like education is huge, right? If you want to uh, change yeah. the direction of a, of a generation, it starts with education, yeah. right? Yeah. But the unwritten rule is something that, at some level, with some kind of method, you're gonna to have to spell them out because they will destroy all your formal education. They, they will, they will, they will, they will over, over uh, offset any progress you've made mm. on that side, whether we yeah. like it or not. Yeah, yeah. Jaffe, who stood, one who stood with the Lord. <laughs> Speaking of Duro Toye, Duro Tolua. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said, 
Somebody's name who rhymes with the one who stood with the Lord. I'm like, this guy, <laughs> you might as well just say the name, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, there are only two people I mentioned. So, I mean, most Sajimako people know exactly who I'm referring to uh, yeah, when yeah. you look at the coded names. But I, I thought, let me try to just neutralize those as much as possible. And if someone deserves a special mention, I basically named them straight up. I mean, Reverend Downsy, I mean, I mentioned him. How much, how much of, uh, how much of, you know, coding the name? Uh, obviously, you probably don't want to offend some people. Uh, mm. Then there's a level of you probably do. It's not necessary to offend this person. Uh, this story is too good. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. How yeah. much of that did you have to do? So, so if a story should be told, I'll tell it. The question is, do I think I should reveal the names or not? So, for example, uh, Senior Roberts and the bikes. Mm-hmm. I mean, those. Okay, anyone who went to is that his real name? So Senior Roberts is Senior Roberts, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that was in your junior year, so. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Senior Stevo is Senior Stevo. Senior, uh, I could picture that scene. I could picture a you bike picture going out of his element <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. Kifu. <laughs> to Kifu, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it just, I mean, Senior Roberts never tried what he did with the bikes again because there were people who felt that he had massively overstepped his mark with what he did to the people. Um, and yeah, because Ibukun was a very gentle, free spirit. Yeah, and Nothing I feel like he... I feel like Ibukun, uh, his demeanor commands. He was always small. It was small, yeah, but it, the it, his was demeanor nice. commands a certain level of respect that I don't feel like anybody ever messed Should, with him. Exactly, to do anything bad to him. So for yeah. for, for this guy to overreact to some uh, some what well, challenge that was brought to him, accusing him of something. And then to put it all on the book, the bikes was was it was uncalled for. Hmm. So yeah, the bikes just you know you can push a um, I don't it's not the same analogy of pushing a horse of water or something. But if you if you pro if you prod too much at someone, the weary them will come out eventually. So that's right. what happened. Right, right. <laughs> now, Banji, take this group to the section next to the staff room. <laughs> Pa- parambulate down to the principal's house, then glide all the way down to the girls' dining hall. No, no. Should I say? Let me position my mouse properly. Parambulate down to the principal's house, then glide all the way down to the girls' That's, dining hall. There you go. He does his gesture too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before bulldozing, yeah, decisively to the back of the SS1 block. Off you go. Yeah, this, this is this Hilarious. is giving instructions to. This was a part of our life, man. This is a part of the life. So it, 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 it was like a caricature, military style, yeah, um, command center. So you have all these kids in front of you, and you have to tell them where to go and do their manual labor, which some people would say is borderline child labor, but it's all right. <laughs> That's what we experience day in day out. <laughs> yeah, is that so is just, that. Is that is that society? It is what it is. Is that society? Yeah, and yeah. and we just we just give these instructions that were very hard for a year one student to figure out, mm-hmm. but the prefects that was that was going to take you there knew exactly what it meant. Yeah, 